Royal Rumble 2023 is one of these events that don't require any review, any highlight uh, video, any anything like that. Like I was I was wondering if I should record this video in the first place, but I kind of want to share my thoughts about a couple of moments about the Rumble. This is my two cents about the Rumble. These are these are my two cents. My English is horrible. 30 sweaty guys in the ring fighting for an opportunity of a lifetime. I'm gonna be a little bit negative here because there is a lot of positive comments about the Rumble. And don't get me wrong, the Rumble was fantastic. Like, this is the most perfect Rumble I have seen. But I'm here as a voice of improvement. <laughs> I don't know, there, there is always room for improvement and I kind of want to give my two cents what could be better. First of all, about the Men's Royal Rumble match, the winner is Cody Rhodes. What I didn't like though is that halfway through the match we knew that Cody Rhodes is gonna win. If you have put Sami Zayn in that match, it would have steered some drama, it would have been a little bit of unknown who's gonna win. Seth Rollins was there, which was also good. In my opinion, probably WWE are doing it for the sales or something, but if we didn't hype up that Cody Rhodes is gonna join the Rumble, it would have been more magical. Because what if no one knew Cody Rhodes is coming back, number 30 comes up and Cody Rhodes pops up, he wins the Rumble, what a nice moment. I didn't like that it was too much of a setup. The whole thing was too much of a setup. I know that the ending is booked and everything, but it was too obvious and I didn't like that. I didn't like the fact that Logan's sole purpose was to kick out Seth out of the ring. Yes, he created two amazing moments and thumbs up about that, but I didn't like the fact that Seth was kicked out of the fight from Logan. Another great thing is that Gunther was amazing. I know that a couple of videos ago I said that Gunther is nothing special. Obviously everyone praises Gunther for his work. I don't know, he's just not my type but that doesn't mean that I don't appreciate him. He went number one and left number 29. He's obviously amazing. But yeah, the whole thing, why Sami Zayn was not in, obviously. The bloodline is shit, I'm gonna talk about that later, but I don't know, it was too obvious, not many surprises, obviously you cannot have a lot of surprises every time because of injuries, some people are on vacation and stuff like that, but second match, great match, I cannot complain about anything there, seriously nothing, LA Knight versus Bray Wyatt, just perfect. Perfect storytelling, perfect match, perfect uh, culmination, just chef's kiss, uh, as I said. Alexa Bliss versus Bianca Belair was a little bit underwhelming. Honestly, I liked more the match that they were having on Raw a couple weeks back. I saw nothing special and Alexa Bliss just lost. Just lost. Only in the end, Don't Go Howdy showed up and he was like, do you really feel in control? I'm not saying that right now something should happen. Obviously we understood about the Bray Wyatt story that everything is just in the beginning for him, for Alexa, for everyone. I don't know, if uh, everything was that underwhelming we could have just skipped that match in general and let it build up more or let it be on Raw or I don't know. Women's Royal Rumble. My prediction was true. My prediction was true. I love you Rhea. I'm a fan. But I really don't like the fact that every time that Nia Jax shows up at the Rumble, everyone just teams up against her. There was powerhouse as scary as her in the name of Piper Niven or something like that. Sorry that I'm butchering your name. But she was as scary as Naya and no one teamed up on her. But everyone teamed on Naya. And every time she's in a rumble, something like that happens. Like, it's a little bit bizarre. I like the Women's Royal Rumble. I have nothing to say against that. I love the fact that Rhea went first and she went out as the winner. There were Asuka, Liv, and Rhea in the ring and I was genuinely wondering who's gonna win because it was so close to Rhea losing and I love that finisher. I love the fact that Rhea persevered 
I know it was booked, but imagine if Rhea just, Rhea's muscles just gave up and she couldn't perform that move. I can't wait to see what's next. Kevin Owens versus Roman Reigns. What can I say? I was watching the segment with a friend. And while everything was unfolding, I said to him, this is better than Avatar. Because it is the best movie recently that came out. The match itself was underwhelming, but I guess the whole point was not the match itself to be believable or anything. A lot of questionable things happened, one of which in my head was at least why we're pulling the trigger that early. I feel like some things could have done differently, but in general I cannot complain. This is a really good storyline. Uh, eight, nine, ten months in the making. If we include the whole bloodline thing, it's two years in the making because Jay apparently is out of the bloodline now, which makes a little bit no sense to me because at the end of the day, his blood is he because he sympathizes with Sami Zayn or he understands that Roman went a little bit extra on Kevin and he doesn't like that, but. We all know that Jay is more aggressive than Roman. If I have booked that story, I would have, uh, I would have prolonged it a little bit more. Make Sami Zayn a full member of the Bloodline, which would have been a little bit bizarre, but it would have been a really good moment at the same time. Prolong the Kevin Owens story, maybe bring it a little bit later, and then when Sami is in the Bloodline, break Roman's back. A really beautiful event, don't get me wrong, I, I'm just here showing my two cents and maybe I'm gonna do that for every pay-per-view. My two cents for Elimination Chamber and I'm just here to give you another point of view not to tell you that the rumble sucked or anything else. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, there is a like button down below. And here you can watch another video. And I should tell you a joke. There was a guy with a camera on the street.